During World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union were allies. But after the war, the communist Soviets and democratic Americans had become enemies. Each side attempted to be the world's top superpower. The two nations sought to dominate in space, in military power, and in the allied countries they could lead. Their conflict is known as the Cold War. After World War II, the Soviets quickly took control of many Eastern European countries and enforced communist rule in them. Britain's Prime Minister Winston Churchill referred to the Iron Curtain that separated the free countries in the West from the communist countries in the East. President Harry Truman agreed that communism was a threat to the world. He proposed the Truman Doctrine, the policy of opposing the spread of communism. Secretary of State George C. Marshall proposed a plan to help carry out that doctrine. The Marshall Plan offered aid to European countries that were rebuilding after World War II. But communism quickly spread from Eastern Europe and the USSR to Asia. On June 25, 1950, communist forces from North Korea crossed the border and invaded South Korea. They quickly fought their way to Seoul, the capital of South Korea. Truman persuaded the United Nations to send a military force to help South Korea. Truman selected General Douglas MacArthur to lead these troops, 90% of whom were American. The North Korean army was quickly driven back, but when Chinese troops joined them, the war settled into a stalemate. In the United States during this time, anti-communist hysteria was taking place. Senator Joseph McCarthy led the campaign that accused many people of being Soviet spies. The case of Julius and Ethel Rosenberg gained public attention. The couple was accused of spying for the Soviet government. The Rosenbergs were tried and convicted of passing nuclear secrets to the Soviets. Despite the protests of some, they were executed in 1953. As nuclear technology advanced, the United States and the Soviet Union waged an arms race. Each country wanted to have more firepower than the other. In 1962, in the midst of this arms race, a new crisis arose. U.S. spy planes flying over Cuba took pictures of Soviet missiles on the island. We now know that the Soviet Union has decided to transform Cuba into a base for communist aggression into a base for putting all of the Americans under the nuclear gun. President John F. Kennedy quickly announced a blockade to prevent any Soviet ship from reaching Cuba. For 13 days, the world held its breath as the Soviet ships neared the blockade. If any shots were fired, everyone feared there would be a nuclear war. But President Kennedy and Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev reached an agreement. The Soviets would remove their missiles from Cuba and the United States would call back its blockade. While nuclear war was avoided in Cuba, the two sides confronted each other again in Germany. The communist government of East Germany built the Berlin Wall, which separated the citizens of East and West Germany. The wall stood for nearly 30 years, separating the oppressed from the free and symbolizing the deep divisions that split the world during the Cold War.